Hello and welcome to Let's Talk With Certain Politics. Today we're going to be talking about, uh, well, how conservatives in America are changing, or rather, how it, how it has changed. So, when you look at um, conservatism as a thing, you have to wonder, well, you know, different countries have all different comprehensions of what exactly the political spectrum is. Um, so, uh, what this means is that you know, one country might go, oh, you're, 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 you're a socialist, and they can, are they though? Are they? Um, at some point you think, well, maybe that's just a construct, because you could argue, you know, some things do, you know, some things well, is this left, is this right, but, that's when you start talking about left or right. When you start talking about left or right, that's when you start thinking, well, some things may not be so left as you think they are, and then, you know, some things might be not so right as you think they are. But what happens when people start to change the construct of the physical uh, naming? So, if I say to you, you know, you're uh, you're conservative, and I say you're on the left, well, technically I might say that, but I, I wouldn't, but, you know, if I'm in my country, I might say, yeah, my country might believe that, because they might think conservatives are on the left. But, what about labelling a party as conservative, or a person as conservative? And that's how we have this thing in countries like America. Because in countries like America, this whole system of, you are a conservative, you are a liberal, you are a socialist, you are a, conser- you are a communist, you are a fascist, that whole system has changed over the over, you know, past few years, and has meant that now we look at these very, very different situations. Because if you're in England, you know, you've got the Conservative Party, but you wouldn't tend to see English Conservative Party people as Nazi sympathisers. But then you go to America and you've got all these sort of things here where it's like, well, that's that's fascism there though. Like, are you sure that's conservatism? And that's the whole problem with politics, I guess you could say, which is, you know, if I say this is this is my opinion and that's fine, that's your opinion, but are you really on that? Are you are you in the position where you can say that situation where you are the person who is that? Are you a conservative? Are you a liberal? Are you uh, you know socialist? Are you are you a communist? Are you you know a libertarian? All those sort of things you have there, where all these things where you're looking at them and you're thinking, okay, so you know, not which party do you belong do you belong to, not which political spectrum do you belong to, but more specifically what political ideals are you? And this is the thing you have with America, which is it's recent well not recent that not that recent, but it's difference when it comes to the right and left. So a lot of the time you have this in American politics where people like Bernie Sanders were labelled as socialists. I think but they're not though. Like if you look at socialism as an actual idea, as a political idea, and then you compare it to the, their policies, thinking, okay, they want the option of free healthcare, and that's 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 a little less than what socialists want. Socialists want a little bit more than that, you know. And yeah, they want a fair wage paid to people. Like that, that's that's not really socialist though. That that's a little less than socialism. And you look at the right, and it's like, oh. Yeah, that that's a little bit more than conver- conservatism. Like conservatives just kind of want to keep things, you know, the same. But you want to enact like racist, homophobic laws. So, yeah, that that's not really conservative. That that that's basically fascism, actually. So yeah, um, yeah, it's closer to fascism than conservatism, and that's a whole problem because when you're looking at ideals, then you start to think, well, hold on a second then you look at parties. And this, that's the thing with parties in modern day. Like, if I'm if I was someone with certain political ideals and I want to get elected, I'm most likely not going to go to a party that, you know, isn't that popular. I'm more likely to set up my own party because the likelihood of me getting in is lower because, you know, people are loyal to parties. And also, you know, even if I do get in, because the party system in a lot of countries whereby the party is the one that rules, not the politicians themselves, i.e. basically the party leader is the one that rules, which is kind of semi-dictatorship, you know. Okay, that's a, that's a story for a different day, you know, when it looks at democracy and how parties sometimes cause problems when there isn't a coalition or anything like that, because it's like, well, I mean, if you do that, then it's kind of like, yeah, we voted for someone to... Yeah, I mean, 
good technique just voted for a person, not a party, but you know, that's the problem. Because people don't tend, people will may vote for you as a person, but if you're an independent candidate, then your opinions will be squashed by the parties in, in the thing. And if you're a party candidate and your ideas are slightly different to the party, you know, it'll just be like, yeah, tough though, because this is the way the party, which, you know, you're part of and you're forced to vote for all the policies they are voting for, it, they're the ones who have the majority, so you're going to vote their way. And that, of course, is the issue. Because when you look at, uh, you know, all these things, and day, a lot of the time, people are basically forced into going for a party which has a majority. And in some countries, that's fine because you've got kind of a cycle where you might have four, five, six, seven, eight parties that all have had a majority in the past, like, ten years. You know? And they're not gone. It's not like they had a diminished... They, you know, they could come back at any time. Those are all parties fighting for the position. But in countries like America and England, there's generally only about two. And there's a problem with that, which is if you are a very, you know, left-leaning candidate, where are you going to go if you want to get into politics and actually make an effect? You're not. That's the thing, you have to choose one of two options which you don't technically belong to. Because the party doesn't belong to that. But then you have to choose, well, if you're very right wing, if you're also fascist, well, which are you going to choose? England, well, I guess maybe UK, but you know. Uh, but if you're uh, in England or America, you're thinking, well, Tory party, Republican party, maybe they're the closest one, really? Yeah, you know, they're actually going to get a chance. There are there are other parties, but they're not really going to get as many you know as much power. So that's the problem, which means that when you start funneling all these people into this party, the party's ideals begin to get affected because the party is supposed to be a conservative party. The party is supposed to be you know a liberal party, or then it's like well yes, but it's not filled with people that share the ideals before, which is why you have people who are, you know, homophobic, racist, things in parties that don't really make, like, you know, conservatives are not really supposed to be divisive, they're supposed to keep things the same, sure, and they're not supposed to be, you know, they're not supposed to have the best when it comes to, you know, your social welfare and everything, but conservatives are not is supposed to be as bad as it looks as to certain people because some people will go well that that seems kind of concerning that the basic system that you're running off is that parties are not matching to the politicians so if i vote for this party rather than this, rather than the candidate if you look at the party rather than the candidate you do have to look at the candidate the modern day because candidates that are not for the party's ideals are going up for election on that party's ballot now what that causes is that you have this massive influx of people who are you know, you might not necessarily vote for themselves, but you're voting for them because of the party, and they are not necessarily the people you'd want anyway. Like, if you would not want them. Like, if you actually looked at them, you're thinking, yeah, I I really, really don't want them in government. That, that They would be very bad. They'd be very bad in government. And that, of course, is the issue, which is, it's become in the modern day where conservatism in countries like America specifically is no longer really actual conservatism. It's really kind of something new where things are a lot more a lot more right leaning, and that's that's the weird uh, system you have there, which is concerning because it means that the the conservatism is supposed to be you know the bear like the, it's right leaning but it's right leaning in a sense of like it's, it, it, it's it's right it's right leaning in a kind of a this is on the right side but you know close to the center it's not fascism it's not libertarianism it's you know it's it's not it's not it's not neo liberalism it's it's nice and it's nice and right wing but not too right wing so don't worry the Nazi party, they're not the kind of party you'll see. Oh wait, that's the problem. Because now you see politicians are, you know, beginning to call themselves conservatives, but they're not really conservatives. And that's the weird thing you see in the modern age, where people who are actually conservatives are actually pale in comparison to people who say they're conservatives and are going up for the conservative parties. And then conservatives are having their colleagues be, you know, very, very weird kind of 
almost fascist style systems and that's the issue with Monet which apparently means that parties that are in power now the people are not conservatives so now you basically have a democratic party which in America which is kind of conservative and then the Republican party which is going very right wing and that of course is the problem of parties so that's one of the issues you have here where you only have two parties which means that all it takes is a bunch of people who are very, very, very overly on one side of, of, of a political spectrum and then just, them just funneling into a party and it's like, yeah, yeah. The problem with that is, is that that means that you get a bunch of people going into one party that are, you know, they're, they're, they're kind of, that party matches our deals and the other party, it, it, it doesn't exactly, it, it, it's on their side of their ideals, but their ideas are more extreme. So that means that what it causes is that almost how you see where, you know, in American history, Democrats used to be the very conservative, you know, they used to be the, the you know, the slave owners who wanted to preserve slavery, all this sort of thing. And then it swaps with Republicans because people start going to the, you know, the Republican Party if they want that and not the Democratic Party. Uh, and then it kind of changes over time, and that's what you see. It appears to be in the modern age, it's changing once again. Just not this time with a swap, and more this time it's moving right. Both parties, by the way. And that's the thing you have there. Now, this might be something which you don't agree with, and that's fine. And that's the thing. Maybe you think, well, no, I voted for a politician, they were very conservative, and I voted for a conservative party. Or you might be thinking, no, actually, that's kind of right, because I voted for a politician, they were very, very racist and homophobic, and the party they were going for isn't supposed to be that divisive, because conservatism is not supposed to be, conservatism is supposed to be like a political and economic thing, it's not necessarily supposed to be like this, but the problem is the modern age has resulted in all these kind of parties being, well, different from what conservatism is supposed to be, and they're just basically just, you know, racist and that's the thing you have there in the modern age of course you could argue yeah you know whole situation here is a, is a bit weird but anyway so uh that that's um uh, that's the the changing of the political spectrum in 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 the in the world or basically you no know, i've only really given two examples of two countries but you know that's the end of the video uh so thank you for watching and if you want to view other videos you can go ahead and you can also subscribe to your channel that'd be absolutely you know just just delightful and uh, if you don't agree other videos both now and in the future this is bye bye everyone i hope you'll enjoy the rest of your existence